spending my whole childhood, you know, wishing to live in a more exciting, creative um, environment with more expressive artistic people. But the fact of the matter is, growing up here um, without a lot of artistic, expressive people <laughs> um, gave me hunger and desire for things. And, um, and yeah. Um, the funny thing is we always talk about creativity in this circle. We always talk about how important it is to be creative, how lucky we are to be artists, how lucky we are to be able to express ourselves the way we do. We all have gifts to give to the world. And um, funnily enough and ironically enough, I grew up in a house where um, the arts weren't really um, emphasized, but education was emphasized. And uh, that was my dad's big thing, being educated, that knowledge is power. And that was a tremendous influence on me. Um, and, you know, my father is a scientist, um, and he's an engineer, and he's, um, you know, he always pushed me to go to university. Uh, even when I was living in Manhattan, even when I made my first records, even when I had become what people call a superstar, I would still get calls from my dad, this isn't really true, and he'd say, when are you coming back to go to the university? Um, <laughs> because the thing is, I got, I got a scholarship, a partial scholarship to go to University of Michigan, and it was a good experience, but I knew what I wanted to do with my life, and I didn't want to waste any more time. So I just moved to New York, and my dad, of course, was kind of worried about that, um, and rightly so scary place to live in if you come from Podunk, where I come from. Um, anyway, so, and of course the other thing is, uh, I grew up, eight kids in our house. My dad had to work hard to feed us, and um, his work ethic, you know, he's, Dad, how old are you? 81. 81. Wow. He's 81, he still works every day in his vineyard, he makes wine. And, um, Blue zone. Okay. Blue zone, right? He gets up every day and he, he does his work. And, and uh, if you want to know where I got it from, it's him. Um, because he's a workhorse. And, and I remember coming home from school every day and I would look at the t table in the kitchen and there would be a long list of chores I had to do. And, and um, I don't remember a lot of free time, playtime. Um, and I'm not complaining because it gave me the drive that I have today. And when I decided I wanted to be a dancer, and I said I want to take dance classes, my dad would say, well, better go get a job so you can pay for it. <laughs> so that's what I did, babysitting, cleaning houses, um, delivering newspapers, whatever. So um, thank you, Dad, for saying no all the time. <laughs> Can I go to the movies? No. <laughs> it was always no. Um, and that resistance that you gave me to push against what made me turn into the fighter that I am. Yeah. And um, I tried to be that way with my kids. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as good at it as you are. <laughs> um, you try saying no to Lola. Um, <laughs> that's pretty hard. <laughs> um, but so, so education. So, so thank you for, for giving me the work ethic that I have. You're welcome. And uh, thank you for 
saying no all the time. And, um, and also my father, you know, we had very different uh, points of view as far as politics and religion and all that stuff goes, but we've learned to accept each other's differences. Um, he's still mourning Mitt, Mitt Romney's loss, and that's okay. <laughs> um, I'll help you through it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, um, but I've spent the last 30 years saying to my dad, you know, believe me, he's seen it all. He's seen it all. <laughs> seen it all. <laughs> and, um, and I always say, but Dan, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just expressing myself artistically. And that's sort of a joke around the house, too. <laughs> so tonight, I'll be expressing myself artistically. <laughs> um, try not to be, you know, it is, you know, hi. Hi. Um, <laughs> puppeteering is my next job. Um, it is the story, in case you all haven't heard it, this show actually has a story. It's the story, it's the, it's the journey of a soul from darkness to light. So um, there is a spiritual aspect to it. It's very violent in the beginning, um, but everything has its place um, and it goes from darkness to light. So um, I'm just giving you the heads up. The other Do thing is, uh, what? <laughs> what? Do I need to leave the stage? <laughs> you won't be on the stage. No. <laughs> you, you, know, you know you don't need to leave. Okay. You look down at your program. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, no, but all that, you know, all of that aside, I, I wanted to also read a poem uh, that, uh, Actually, Michelle gave me a book the other night called Conversational Rape. I know it's a weird title, but um, it's really about the use of words and, and, and like using language properly. But there's a poem in the beginning of it, and it's about creativity and being an artist. It's only one page. Don't worry. <laughs> and um, I wanted to read it to you. It's really good. Are you ready? Yes. Ready. Okay. So, the truly creative mind in any field is no more than this, a human creature born abnormally, inhumanly sensitive. To him or her, a touch is a blow, a sound is a noise, a misfortune is a tragedy, a joy is an ecstasy, a friend is a lover, a lover is a god, and failure is death. And to this cruelly delicate organism, the overpowering necessity, add to this cruelly delicate organism, the overpowering necessity to create, create, create. So that without the creating of music, or poetry, or books, or buildings, or something of meaning, his or her very breath is cut off from him. He must create, must pour out creation by some strange unknown inward urgency. He is not really alive unless he is creating. And I feel that was written by Pearl S. Bach, by the way. And I feel like everybody in this room knows this feeling. And everybody in this room creates in their way, in their way, whether it's through music or dance playing instruments, singing, uh, doing hair or makeup, uh, wardrobe. We are all artists in this room. We are all creators. And that's what we were put in this earth to do. So let's go out tonight in my hometown, in the Motor City, where we know how to kick some ass and make some cars, <laughs> or play some rock and roll. <laughs> And have an amazing show. Yep. Yeah. 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 Woo. Yeah. Yeah.
show tonight. <laughs> we're going to wear our Obama t shirts again today. Yes, right. Sorry, Dad. We're going to wear our Obama t shirts. You don't wear Obama t shirts. You can wear whatever you want. You can express whatever you want. Artistic expression. Okay, ready, guys? Yeah. Girls? Yep. Children? Say mom? Uh, yeah, creativity all the way. Okay. Oh. Motor City. All the way. Two, three, four. MDMA Motor City all the way. Yeah. Yeah. He was a boy, you grew up. Yeah. 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 Mercy! Mercy! Hey, I want to write this sometimes. Okay. 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 You better watch out because my dad loves priests. <laughs> dad, dad, have you met Father Kevin? He sometimes he's a, he plays keyboards in in my band, but he's also a pastor at a local church. Nice to, nice to meet you. Oh, he's from Boston. Nice to meet you. He has a nice parish in Orlando now. I do actually. We haven't yeah. figured out the voting process, but the parish is lovely. Yeah, and the people who come to your church are lovely. Anyway, yeah. he's there. He's my he's my guiding light on stage. Okay. okay. All right. Good. Somebody gotta be. Yes, yeah, somebody's, somebody's gotta be. Uh, All right, go to your seats. All right. Have a good time. For a wonderful time. <laughs> well, we won't see you. Oh, love it. You're welcome. <laughs> my very first. Don't let anybody else drive it. I'm not him. him. Ooh, can I have some refresher? Don't work. Yeah. Good luck. Close your eyes. Okay, Dad, watch the whole right. show. We will. <laughs> Artistic <laughs> expression. Right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm on the seats.